Welcome to the Let's Talk Data podcast series presented by SAP, where we explore game-changing technologies for the mid-market with leading SAP HANA experts. Welcome to our Let's Talk Data podcast series. My name is Ginger and I'll be your host for this series. Today, the topic is top ways mid-market companies can benefit from the SAP HANA service and SAP Cloud Platform. I'm super happy today to be joined by both HANA service and mid-market experts. We have Angela. Angela's been on a podcast before. Hello, Angela. Hello, Ginger. Angela's Hi, from everyone. our product team. She leaves the product marketing for our HANA service. We also have Laurent from our customer expert team. Uh, hello, Laurent. Hello, Ginger. Thank you for joining. And uh, we have Henrik, who he's also, he's been on other uh, podcasts in this series from our mid-market team, uh, leading the team, and EMEA. Hey, Henrik, good to have you back. Howdy, Ginger. Really pleasure to be here. Howdy. See, Henrik knows I'm from Texas, so he knows how to talk <laughs> like I talk. <laughs> all right. We're so glad, glad all three of y'all are here today. So uh, when we talk about uh, the SAP HANA service and SAP Cloud Platform, we really want to focus this on the mid-market. So I want to start off talking about mid-market companies and the reasons for investing in cloud and cloud services. So Henrik, what are you seeing with mid-market and cloud services just in general? Oh, Angela, you have to understand that mid-market companies are subject to the same competitive pressures that large enterprises have. And actually the fact of the mid-market is sometimes even more aggressive and mid-market companies know that they have to be at the edge, they need to build competitive advantages. This is also, you know, where actually the being smaller sometimes turn out to be an advantage because a mid-market company is very often capable of moving much quicker and making quicker decisions and implementing things, you know, very rapidly in terms of policies that large enterprises are sometimes having a hard time doing. And when they need to do that, they need to also have a platform you know, that can actually respond to that. So the old world of the on-premise platforms is uh, well, not something that is agile and quick enough for this new paradigm. So this is where, you know, the SAP Cloud Platform, together with the HANA service, providing this platform as a service with agile environments for development, for DevOps, uh, is something that they respond to and that they can benefit from very, very quickly, either with their own limited internal IT staffs or in conjunction with our many and increasingly very creative uh, SAP partners that can provide them with that, you know, uh, incremental capacity they need for these incremental new leading edge applications. So the SAP Cloud Platform, we're seeing a lot of mid-market companies use this, and you also mentioned a lot of partners are assisting our, our, our mid-market capabilities. And we're going to be talking about the HANA service specifically, but Henrik, what are some other services on the SAP Cloud Platform that, that, that you're seeing used often? And we will post a link here that lists all the capabilities, but what are just a few? I know, Henrik, you and I, we did a podcast earlier on the Master Data, Data Quality Management Microservice that's available there. We're going to be talking about the HANA service service here today, but what's just a couple of others that, that you hear um, mid-market customers and partners talking about a lot? Yeah, it depends a little bit about the, um, you know, the profile and the uh, market segment in which they are in. Uh, retail companies are very keen on building increased, you know, customer loyalty, and they can do that with, uh, by developing extensions to uh, their existing CRM systems, so it can be loyalty card applications, some of them are doing. Uh, also chatbots, chatbots are becoming very much essential in today's world, we see with conversational interfaces for customers. In the manufacturing side, very obviously the whole IoT scenario, so all of the IoT extensions are something that uh, in the manufacturing and logistics side, companies are increasingly picking up on, and that is something where also being able to do that and deploy that through the cloud uh, is essentially an, you know, an accelerator to their projects. All right, super. And once again, we'll, we'll put down a list because there's a lot of capabilities. Uh, we'll add a link uh, so you'll be able to see what all capabilities we have. But today we really want to talk about this HANA service because I think there was a new version of it released. So to tell us all about the HANA service on the cloud platform, Angela, we need your help. Just let us know what's going on. 
Excellent. Thanks, Ginger. Um, so you've heard a lot about the SAP Cloud Platform on this um, podcast. So I wanted to make it clear the SAP HANA service is one of the services running on the SAP Cloud Platform. So you can use it in conjunction, you know, with the chatbots and the um, and data quality and some of the IoT extend or services that are also available on the cloud platform. Um, so this is one of the services running there. Now, Henrik, I loved sometimes when we talk about mid-market, we talk about the constraints and the challenges. I love that you led with the positive and the, the agility that they have. Um, and, and I think that's really true of the mid-market when we see so much innovation there. Um, and we really believe HANA's service is it can help enable that innovation for the reasons that Henrik mentioned. Um, it is a fully capable version of SAP HANA. So it's the same fantastic HANA that you would get on premises, but without sort of the headaches of managing it. So that can be really appealing to customers in the mid-market because you don't have to have a HANA DBA expert to run it. You don't have to buy specialized hardware. Um, but the other piece that the cloud brings in is the, is the elasticity. So to, the, to that agility that Henrik mentioned, if you, um, you know, have a new project and it's going really successfully, you can literally add more HANA in 16 gigabyte increments with a click of a button. And that's something that's new to the new HANA service that wasn't there before. Um, also, you can start very small. You can start as small as 32 gigabytes and then scale up or scale down as you need. Wow, that sounds good. I was mentioning you just before that we have a webinar upcoming. It's going to be on November the 2nd, and we'll be sure the link is here, where we have Hitachi Consulting and their customer, Harlan Clark, talking about how they move from uh, BW on-premise to HANA service, and they're using some analysis tools on top. So now that Angela's kind of given us an idea of what it is, and we, we know that, you know, there are at least one use case of moving BW to the HANA service, uh, Laurent, I'd like to talk with you about, you're at the customer sites all day. You're, you're seeing uh, lots of things with the HANA service. What are some typical use cases that you're seeing? And then Angela, as you want to add or extend or add on, please, please hop in there as well. So Laurent, tell us about what you're seeing. You're the expert with the customers here. Yeah. So, um, we have a, a, a set of uh, scenarios that we see very, very often uh, come to reality as customers. Uh, most of our customers today use the HANA service to actually build extensions to, to their solutions, uh, whether they are uh, on-prem solutions or cloud solutions or both. And we're talking here about SAP and non-SAP solutions. So we have a lot of customers using the HANA service to extend their core processes. These extensions will uh, pull information from the, the backend systems, from the SAP systems like Business Suite, like S4 HANA, or non-SAP systems. And then uh, based on this information, they would use all the, the HANA service and, and engines to provide added value through uh, new scenarios and, and functionalities. So that's one very good example that we see because those companies typically, they, as a, uh, as I uh, was said before, they do not really have large teams of experts to be able to install, manage, and operate a full uh, HANA installation on uh, in their data center. Now, uh, what we also see is uh, another very interesting scenario is around advanced analytics and uh, agile data marts. So that is where customers start using the HANA service to explore new types of analytics and uh, to integrate all the sources of information within one single uh, data store. Uh, one example is a, a leading uh, enterprise in uh, in uh, travel catering industry, and uh, this company uh, they realized that because of the of the very nature of their business, which is uh, to provide catering services to customers uh, on the go, uh, in places like airports, uh, train stations, highways, and customers would not really want to spend much time at uh, at these points of sales, and and then the company did not really have a deep understanding of, uh, of what their customers were doing and, and the customer base. So to solve this issue, what uh, they did, they looked at uh, the, uh, the full digitalization uh, of their customer relationship and their customer engagement processes. And they deployed a mobile application in each of the restaurants and the point of sales. Uh, through this application, customers could uh, uh, provide very easily a feedback through survey. Uh, about the level of uh, customer service, the quality of the food, the waiting time, et cetera. And all this information is then captured and centrally stored in, in a single HANA service running on the on the cloud platform. And we're talking here about millions of uh, customer responses, which is growing on, on a daily basis. 
Then uh, using our powerful engines and our cloud-based analytics solutions, uh, which is called SAP Analytics Cloud, this company is performing advanced analytics that includes sentiment analysis to detect trends and, and patterns based on the customer's feedback, and then can then uh, take immediate action based on all these analysis. So that's a, also a very good example of uh, using the HANA service and all the power of HANA in a very cost-effective way and, and very agile way to uh, implement new scenarios. Wow, that sounds super interesting. Yeah, that's good. Angela? Yeah, I think those are all, fan you know, thanks Ginger, I think those are all fantastic use cases. The other thing we're seeing a lot of is um, people building, um, kind of like Henrik mentioned at the beginning, extensions to other applications. So there's a lot of tools in the cloud platform that allow you to connect to other SAP business tools or business products. So we're seeing a lot of bespoke applications for things like, for example, advanced analytics on top of something like S4. Um, and then also a lot of customers are choosing to use HANA as a platform for innovation, not just for applications that extend SAP applications, but for kind of net new bespoke applications that they're building for their own business purposes. Um, actually, prior to coming into this role, I was a product manager for an application that we built natively on HANA. So I can attest <laughs> personally, you know, how easy it is to use HANA as a platform for development because it does have all of those multimodal engines in it. So with the tool I was working on, we were leveraging streaming and the analytics engine that was within HANA ourselves. Um, and then we were building kind of a visualization layer on top, um, coupled with some of the other services for development with SCP that would have been even stronger. So I think another great area for HANA is building new applications or sidecar applications to uh, existing ones. Okay. So we've mentioned some of the HANA service capabilities. We've talked about building custom apps. Um, Laurent, you talked a lot about using uh, Agile data marks, the analytics. I think you talked about sentiment analysis. Are there other major capabilities with the HANA service that we haven't covered yet that are included? I know, Angela, my understanding is there's a lot of services included and more are coming. Are there any ones that we need to be sure and mention today? Oh, okay, right. Um, so yeah, I think uh, back to my, my previous example, uh, the, there's a big question on how do you treat large volumes of information and, and data, and that's where the, uh, the cloud platform data service would come in. So think of it of, uh, as a fully managed Hadoop infrastructure in the cloud, which is natively integrated with the HANA service. So the HANA service comes with this native integration, and uh, while the HANA service is, is used to store uh, uh, um, warm data, uh, if you will, then all the, the cold data can be moved back and forth with the data service so that you can treat and, and, and analyze large chunks of information in a very uh, simple way, all by leveraging the, the HANA service and the, the big data service in collaboration. Yeah, that's a really important service, Laurent, especially when we look at some of the use cases like IoT. I mean, we'd love if everyone kept everything yes. in memory, but we know that's not feasible. Um, Another point that I don't think I mentioned was we do have smart data integration as well. So you can certainly use the big data service, but we have seen some customers look towards things like BI modernization with the HANA service. So you can easily get data from a lot of different tools into HANA um, with smart data integration. So it's a fantastic tool um, to do that data loading to be kind of that consolidated layer for analytics. And then as Laurent mentioned, when that da data um, becomes maybe less mission critical and, and you don't need it in real time, you can offload it to the big data service. So smart data integration is a great tool that's actually included with your HANA license to get that data into the HANA service. Good, good. So when we started, Henrik was talking about the cloud platform and the different services that are available. And then Angela kind of sh shared with us the HANA service. We've talked a lot about that and we know it integrates with the others. But Laurent, what kind of integration are you seeing with the HANA service and other cloud platform services? What are the most common ones? Analytics, I guess, obviously that, that must be a big one, right? Yeah, analytics is a big one. Uh, integration in another big one. We've, we've been talking through it. Uh, uh, for, for quite some time. I, I would add the uh, the mobile services. So in, in the example mm, of, right. of the scattering company, um, all the applications were mobile applications. So they basically provided a mobile application at each of the point of sales. And uh, through this uh, mobile application, customers were able to uh, provide survey and feedback. And uh, one interesting point is because of, uh, you know, most of those uh, point of sales do not have necessarily 
good network coverage. So this is where you would need a proper uh, mobile platform and, and mobile service uh, and infrastructure to be able to, uh, for the application to work offline with uh, automated data synchronization when the network coverage is restored. So this is actually what is provided out of the box by the uh, platform mobile services. Okay. Um, and I would add uh, a couple of other services like security. How do you provide single sign-on uh, integration services? I've already mentioned this. Um, and also maybe another good example is our extensive uh, user experience solutions and services that uh, allows us to deliver the best user experience on top of the HANA service. So the HANA service with all the engines would analyze and store and manage all the data. And on top of it, uh, by using our uh, user experience services, you, you could implement portals, customer portals, partner portals, internal portals, or chatbots, for example. I think Henrik mm -hmm. mentioned chatbots. Super. All right. So I'm listening to this podcast. I'm interested. I want to get started. Where, where, where would I need to go? We'll put in some links, Angela and Laurent. Something about the capabilities on cloud platform. Something about yeah. on a service. What do you think, Angela? Go ahead. No, absolutely. I think um, a link to kind of the SAP Cloud Platform overall, so they can see all of the capabilities available. And also, if you click on the HANA capability specifically, you can see more information there about the types of data that it can handle. Um, you know, we mentioned a little bit that it can handle different data types, and it's multimodal. What we mean by that is it can handle graph, spatial, and structured data all within one data platform. And actually, when Laurent was chatting, um, it got me thinking that I hadn't mentioned as well, one of the differentiators of HANA is you can actually do analytics on live transactions as they come in. So when he was mentioning point of sale, it, it triggered me to, to um, think of that. You can certainly learn more about all of those capabilities by going to the HANA capabilities section. Or if you just go to sap.com slash HANA, all the functionality you see there on our kind of main landing page is the same functionality you'll see in the HANA service. So once uh, once you've read all about it and gotten really excited and watched some videos, you can certainly try a free trial of the HANA service. Um, so it is a 30-day trial, and if you just go to the cloud platform, there'll be a bunch of buttons all over that say trial that you can click on, um, or I'm sure Ginger will provide the links after the podcast as well. We want to also put in the partner one, right, Henrik, uh, because we have so many yeah. partners in the mid-market. Yeah, so ACP partners is the key thing for our mid-market customers because those partners are actually what can best advise them in getting up to speed. And, and launching the first services very, very quickly, either from, you know, custom development or also by IP, which is being developed by our partners. So many of our partners are developing uh, industry-specific uh, both extensions and, you know, uh, applications, uh, you know, topic-specific for that industry. Okay. Well, super. Well, I want to thank all of you. Thank you, Henrik. Thank you, Angela. Thank you, Laurent. I think we've done a great job of covering the topic. And join us for our next uh, podcast series installment for the mid-market.